Buena Park Downtown, formerly Buena Park Mall, is an enclosed shopping mall that opened in 1961. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. The Buena Park Mall first opened in 1961. It was one of the first malls in Orange County, anchored by J.C. Penney's, Sears, and May Company, California, which opened in 1963. The mall sat on 68 acres on La Palma Avenue near Knott's Berry Farm. The mall promoters billed the Buena Park Mall as offering 1.2 million square feet of affordable shopping options, enticing restaurants, and family-friendly entertainment. A United Artists movie theater opened in August of 1984. It would later close in 1999. As with many regional centers built in this era, Buena Park was constructed with a full basement, utilized as storage areas and service for the tenants above, and renovation around that time included the conversion of the basement area into retail tenants, a food court, and cinema. The UA Mall 8 at the Buena Park Mall opened in 1984. It was situated in the back of the mall behind a major department store called The May Company. The theater was in a poor location, not easily seen from Dale Street, but it was one of the nicest and most state-of-the-art complexes in Orange County at the time. The complex was Orange County's first theater to feature THX sound. The mall was neglected in the 1980s and 1990s, even as the local retail market started to change. I remember visiting this mall in the 1990s, and I remember when they used to have baseball card shows and autograph signings of your local baseball team, which was, for me, the California Angels. May Company closed in January of 1993 as one of the 12 J.W. Robinson's and May Company stores closing due to the merger of the two department stores to form Robinson's May in November of that same year. The closed May Company became a discount chain Fedco. In 1995, a group controlled by the Pritzker family of Chicago bought the mall for $41 million from Australia's City Freeholds, Inc. The new owners planned a $120 million renovation, but the modernization was stalled for several years. After Fedco closed, the leaseholder sought to sublet the space to Gigante, a Mexican supermarket chain, and opposed a major renovation. Target, which had acquired Fedco in 1999, refused to allow the lease to be transferred to another discount retailer. Finally, in late 2001, the city of Buena Park itself paid $3.2 million to take over the Fedco lease and transferred it to Walmart which now occupies the space. Sometime around the late 90s, or maybe it's the early 2000s, J.C. Penney closed and was replaced in 2003 with the new Krikorian Theaters Multiplex. Burlington Coat Factory, a later addition, closed in 2005 and was replaced with Stephen Berry's, which closed in 2008. Tower Records also operated in the mall until its demise of the chain in 2007. So 
Circuit City was formerly one of the principal stores of Buena Park Place, but closed in 2009 due to its bankruptcy. In 2016, Buena Park's 535,000 square foot Buena Park Downtown Mall was sold for $85 million. Attendance included John's Incredible Pizza, Krikorian Theaters, 24-Hour Fitness, Ross Dress for Less, Bed Bath & Beyond, TJ Maxx, DS, and Big Air Trampoline, along with a complimentary mix of pad and shop tenants. The mall had gotten a makeover in 1998. Sears closed on February 2, 2020, making it the last original anchor store to close. The mall is currently anchored by Bed Bath & Beyond, Ross Dress for Less, TJ Maxx, and Walmart, with one vacant space last occupied by Sears. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was six, give yourself a hand. Tower Records wasn't an anchor store, it was just a store. So what are your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.